This video is in response to a question I received. The question was, how do you perform a VLOOKUP in Excel for an entire row when your search criteria is a date range? Well, you can't directly do a date range as a search value in a VLOOKUP, but what you can do to get around that is create some help columns in your data set that will create uh, new search values that you can do the VLOOKUP search on. So here in this example I have a tab that contains our date range criteria. We have a begin date, an end date, and here are some column headers where we eventually want to output our VLOOKUP search results here. Over on the first tab we have our data set which is a loan detail data set. In this first column we have disbursement dates that we want to search on and pull back to the first tab based on our date range criteria. Now the first thing I want to do is name these two cells here so that we can make our lives a little bit easier and refer to the named cell values in our formulas. So I'm gonna hit first click in this begin date cell and hit control F3 the name manager box will appear I'm gonna hit new all I have to do is give this a name so I'm gonna call it begin date hit OK I'm gonna click in the second cell for the end date and do the same thing control F3 new and call this end date So now on our data set tab, I want to insert two columns to the left of our data set. So I'm going to highlight these first two columns and hit the keyboard shortcut control plus. That will add two columns to the left. I'm going to call this first column in range. And I just want to insert an if statement, but also nest an and statement within it because we have two conditions here and the AND allows multiple true-false arguments. So we want to test and see if cell C2, the date value, is greater than or equal to our begin date named range. We also want to see if C2 is less than or equal to our end date named range. So now we're into the second argument of our if statement, the value of true. If both of these conditions are met, we want to put a value of y for yes, and if those conditions are not met in our last argument, we want to put a value of no So this now identifies any of the date values that fall within our date range on the first tab. So now in column A, we're going to make our new lookup value. So again, we want to insert, insert an if statement, and this time we want to see if the value in B2 is equal to y, then we want to do a running count if. And the first input of our count if, which is a count based on a criteria, is the range. And because we want to do a running range, we want to begin at the top cell and count on the range all the way down to the current cell that the formula is in. Now right now, we're in the first row that contains our, our values, so it's one and the same. But what I want to do is hit F4 to lock the top end of our count range and keep the bottom end of our count range relative so that as we drag this down, it goes, it counts all the way through whatever row it's on. 
So the second argument of our count if is our criteria. That is count all the y values. So that was the true portion of our if statement. If b2 equals y, then do a running count if. That is the true portion. The final input is the value of false. Well, we just want a value of 0. So I do that, and now you can see we have unique numbers here next to all of the y values. So that has become our lookup values, these numbers, 1 through 10. So I want to make this dynamic, though, on our output tab. So what I want to do here is insert a formula to always pull the max value because the, the number of value, the max value, could change based on our date range. So I'm going to insert the max function, and that will just get the max value from our criteria column. Whoops. So right now that pulls a value of 10. And if I change this date range to maybe like a little lower, you can see now it's a value of 8. So it changes based on our date range. So now what I want to do is create dynamic lookup values here that are always less than or equal to this max value. So to make this dynamic, I want to insert the row function. And what that does, it just pulls the current row that the formula is on. Well, we want our count to start at 1. We're currently on row 3. So to begin this at 1, I want it to be row minus 2. And I also want to make it in sync with this max value here. So I want to insert an if statement in front of it and test to see whether the output of this row minus 2 is less than or equal to our max value and I want to lock down that max value cell. So if it's less than or equal to the max value, then I want that row minus 2 value to populate in the cell. If it's greater than the max value, I don't want anything to populate in that cell. So I'll put double quotes for blank. So now I'll bring this all the way down to row 22, and you can see it only populates so long as our formula is less than or equal to the max value here. So now we have our lookup list. So we can perform our VLOOKUP based on our lookup numbers here. Now, Remember, we want to pull in the whole row at once, so I want to hit F4 three times for our lookup value to lock the column but keep the row relative. When we drag this across, the column stays fixed, the row moves relatively. So our table array is going to be this data set here. Our next input is our column index. And for this, I want to use the match function. So the match function returns the relative position of a lookup value within an array. Well, we have the same column headers on our data set tab as we do for this output tab here. So our lookup value is going to be the value in the header and I'm gonna hit F4 twice to keep the row locked but the column relative when we drag it across so our lookup array is going to be our first row of headers here because we want to get a match for the column number so I'm gonna hit F4 to lock that down our final input for the match is what type of match we want we want an exact match 
Now we're back into our VLOOKUP function and we have our final argument for that and that is also the match type as well. So again, I want zero for an exact match. So I'll hit enter and you can see this returns the first result of our first lookup value, which is one. And if we look back on our data set tab, we get that date, February 15th. So before I drag this across, what I want to point out is when I drag this function down, because remember we have dynamic formulas down here to adjust with the max value, we're going to get NAs. So what we need to do is enclose this within an if error statement so that it only pulls values when there's a value in column E. So the if error has two arguments, the value, which is the output of our VLOOKUP function, and then the value if error. We want nothing, so two double quotes. So I'll drag this all the way down, and now we have it. So now I'll drag this across as well, and everything currently is formatted as a date, so I want to fill without formatting. And now we have our output. And if I change this begin date, maybe to January 15th, our output should adjust to the right, and it does. So that is how you can create a V look up when your search values are a date range. Hey, if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.